Hey, welcome back, guys. Today we have the JV uh, Rocket League team versus Northeastern White uh, at our NEC playoffs. Uh, this is game three, um, and we are getting started. Uh, I am here joined with... Hello, everybody. It's me again, Nick, and I am here to cast for this big game, very anticipated from this team. Tony, let's watch them and see what they have. Starting off, Adventure is going to be on the kickoff here. A little bit of some bumps coming in early. Adventure is going to go up high first. Tries to get the dunk. Iron City is going to be here. Throws it up against backboard. Flying high, he can follow up here. Going to try to maintain possession with Funyun on the other side. He's going to go back now. Adventure's up. There's Iron City on this other side. He is. He's going to come in. And Adventure is there, and we get an early goal here from Adventure. Beautiful start from the Panthers. Good awareness here. Iron City to be ready on that side for that ball to fly over in Accenture. That link up, we've seen that a lot. How will Northeastern respond here? Funyun on the kickoff. Iron City is here with some boost. He's going to try to clear that out a little bit. Accenture could be here for the 50. He does get it. Come in high. Ooh, some misses on the defense. They have time, though. It's Venture. Gonna try to cut it up. Flicks. Sit up and over. Funyun's here for the follow-up, potentially. Swillow is gonna make this a little dangerous for his defense. They deal with it. Venture is gonna take this on the wall. Get some touches. A little awkward running out of boost there. Funyun's gonna try to clear this. Not totally dealt with yet. Venture's gonna look for maybe some help from Iron City. It's almost gonna go in. Got to be careful here, flying in to the defense. Spencer's going to try to get out to this. Very little boost on the defense. It does actually spawn in his favor, though. And so he's going to clear that. Ewat misses that. Squillow gets it over Iron City. Spencer there for follow-up. Iron City gets a bump. Spencer might try to look mid here. It's cleared out. Iron City trying something here. Funyun Ring trying a little hesitation there. It's in the wall. Very little boost. Adventure's here to take over. Ewat on the defense. Gets it up. 2-9. Gonna control in this corner. Gets it over Iron. Funyun Ring. Up high, ready for that. Adventure. Also up high, ready for that one. Keeping it in the orange half. 2-9 has some time here. He's gonna go high. But Iron City Kill is not gonna fall for it. Swillow. Gotta be careful here. He's gonna try to keep possession here. Take it up on the wall. Does get the boost gonna boom it towards the backboard does hit the ceiling two nines in got the demo and it is a one one game those demos come in make it really difficult for the defense to get in the swing of things it's a wide open net got to be careful with those Spencer just had no chance to get to that and we have a one one game Spencer on the kickoff the cheats come in all right so he's gonna Stay up with this potentially. He's gonna go back. Spencer below Funyun. Funyun gonna try to hit it down. Go for a dunk maybe. Spencer's here. Gets it off the wall. Maybe go for a 50. 2 9 trying to keep possession. Funyun Ring's gonna go up. He hits it. Can Adventure, our Iron City Killer, try something? He's gonna play it safe. Go back. They do have a rotation here a little bit, but it is gonna get hit to their side. They're gonna have to deal with this defensively. Swillow is gonna get a shot away. Iron City has to block this. He does block it. Looking for some help. Northeastern are going to try to press the attack here. Do have a boost advantage. Swillow's going to keep this here. Adventure's going to get demoed. Iron City is going to 50 this across. But Northeastern with a lot of boost here. Vortex got to be careful. Shot does not come in. Adventure's going to try to clear this. Try to buy some time. Iron City with a big boom to the corner. Does he get the second touch? Just shy of it. Funyun Ring's gonna take this. Hits the ground. He'll boom it away. He gets past two. Iron City's here. Defense comes in from Swillow. He's gonna try to get a second touch. Does miss it. Adventure, good bounce in the mid. He wants there to deal with it. Swillow's gonna hit it up 4-2-9. But Iron City's gonna be there fast. Trying to just intercept that. Almost could've gotten the shot away. Adventure's gonna hit it up. Funyun is here in this corner. Could we see a pass mid? It is down. 
Expenture hits it up just a little bit. Iron City is here for the follow-up, and it is in. 2-1. One. one goal advantage for Florida Tech. Just a beautiful assist there to put it in a dangerous spot by Funyun. Iron reading the play very well. Northeastern defense just couldn't figure out a way to keep that out of their net. We have a minute left here on the clock with advantage to the Panthers. Iron City with the early press here. Spencer's going to keep that in their half. It's up. Is Funyun going to come in? He does come in. It just at the corner. Spencer's going to get the boost here. Iron's going to call him off. It's a little mix. But communication. It's going to waste some time here. Maybe go for a second. Funyun ring with a really tight angle. He puts it in here. And this is a lot more comfortable for the Panthers now. 3-1 with 47 seconds to go on the clock. Two goal advantage going in here into game one. This is lovely stuff from Florida Tech here. Fast kickoffs come in, both cheats. Spencer is going to get the demo. Kuwait's going to try to flick it. 2 9 is going to put this back in the corner, but Iron City is going to deal with it. A lot of height advantage here. Gets it past one. Can he get the boost in the corner? 2 9. It's on the ground. Does not get the boost, though. That boost is still up there. But it is going to come to Funyun. It's going to deal with it. Three all in that corner. Really tight positioning here from Northeastern. They spread out. The boat touch there. Funyun puts it up high. Is going to get dealt with by 2-9. Put into their corner. 2 Swillow. Bumped up high. IMC is going to push this away. It's looking less and less likely for Northeastern here to get a comeback. As the time rolls down, it looks like game one will be handed to Florida Tech. Great first start. Great first game. Great attacking rotation there. Needed to attack. And they did. They got the goals on those attacks defensively little shaky very rarely but overall great work from florida tech here and a comfortable win i definitely saw more attacks coming out of florida tech um they their their offense is just a little bit better from my um perspective um hopefully northeastern is able to get a better defense get a better grasp of the ball um honestly there was a lot of teamwork from that game coming out of florida tech Everybody, as we can see, everybody scored a goal individually. Um, there's a lot more combination plays I saw from them. And uh, hopefully Northeastern can uh, reverse this and show us a little bit more. They're going to have to deal with these corners, these plays in the corners. Florida Tech just winning these 50s. That's putting the ball in really dangerous spots to almost definitely opportunities here. Let's see what they can do here. Is the corner play going to happen again? Are we going to see more demos? Are we going to see more bumps? We'll find out. We see and two we 50s a, in a row that didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Dead ball there in the middle. With Funyarmin is going to hit this up. Can we get an early goal here? He is going to get the demo too. There's the demo coming in early. Swillow is going to deal with this off backboard. Hits it to Adventure. Adventure, good positioning. He's ready there. He is going to get the he was coming flying in. Funyarmin ring here. He's going to go back. He's going to give 2-9 some time. Iron City is on the backboard to deal with this. But Swill's going to have a free shot. Got to deal with that. Funyun up quick to get that save. But there is another shot coming in. Committed. Iron City is there to clear it out. Xventure's waiting up. He's going to rotate back. Very tight here from Northeastern. They really try to force those attacks. Staying close to each other. And getting the boost. Getting some bumps in between. Really interesting shape here. You can see they... Oh, this is a little dangerous, but 2-9 right there. Very aggressive, very aggressive play. Iron City here is with the save. Important save there. He's going to go up. He's going to challenge this too. It's like maybe a little bit of a ghost hit. Funyun is going to try to get a really interesting touch to the back of his car here. Octane. It's going to help him out. Play in his advantage. Iron City is going to stay low. It's going to benefit him. 2-9 is up though for this. Can he get the double through the mid? Does not. Adventure. Got to watch the bump here. Already a very physical game. Perfect flick. But it's not going to be enough. Iron City is here to deal with it. Back into the corner. He's going to hit it down mid. Adventure tries to get there. Funyun does have a free shot. If 2 9 were to miss that. But does get the right touch on it. Going up. He's going to hit the crossbar. Swillow is not going to miss that opportunity, though. It's going to get slotted home. And these demos, these bumps, the boost stealing is being put into play a lot more here. 
as you can see. Watch those corners, because on either side, the attacking team is going to look for that. And those left and right hundreds. Demos, who's stealing? It's all very important. Does get beat. Thunder Ring does put it up high, though. It is up in the air, and it's going to get slotted away. Hard to get there. Awkward hit off the top of the car. Goes straight up. A little miscue on the kickoff plan. Ewitt's going to put that away. City on the initial. Funny ring on the follow-up. Does get beats the boost. Tunan's going to pop this up. Spencer's ready. He's there. Tunan's going to hit it. Who's teammate? He's looking for something. Funny ring is going to get control here. Does not go for the boost. He's going to try to win that 50, but Spencer's there. Funny ring is going to go back and get that boost. Chasing mid. Funyan and Iron really close, but Funyan's going to get a shot away. Force a save. Iron City is going to go up. See what he can do. Maybe a reset here. Tries to catch. Just... Shy. He's trying some magic here. He's trying to find some acrobatics as the answer. Ooh, it's going for that bump on Funny. You see that in the net. A lot more this game. Spencer's going to follow this. He's going to get a big hit up. He's going to have to deal with this off his backboard. He does. Into the corner. A little bit of bump, maybe, from his teammate. Iron City's going to go up. Two misses there. Iron City's going to try to control this. Get boost control. He's going to take this higher. He's going to look for something for his teammates back, potentially. Does fake one. Venture going up. And it's open. Can Funyan Ring get there? He does slot it away. Sees the opportunity. What a pass for Venture. Great positioning right there. It is a one-goal game here now. Bumping being very impactful for the attacking side, Northeastern, and their tactics here. But... Panthers just controlling that corner once again. Northeastern just giving a lot of time to Iron City Killa in those pockets of space, and he's just finding something on the backboard. Same thing with Expenture, and they're just setting up whoever is that last man in the middle. Let's see, a little awkward trying to get off the wall there. Thundering's going to have to deal with this. So it's going to come in. A faster pace now in the tempo here from... Northeastern. They want to try to shut down any momentum that can come from that goal. Slow. It's a very aggressive 50. Funyan lays it off to X. X is going to be back in the corner for this if he wants to deal with it. Funyan Ring is coming in. A little bit of miscommunication there. The ball is up. Iron City has to deal with this. He does. It's coming back to the mid, though. Got to just have some composure on this defense. Looks like they will work to get it out. Xventure trying. Just tumbling with the car. Couldn't really get his wheels where he wanted them. Funyan Ring is going to keep it in the orange half. It's going to fly mid. Iron City's got to be careful here. He was coming flying in. 2-9 and Swillow in the corner. Ball is in front of net. Got to be careful. They are dealing with it. Funyan Ring is going to try to keep it in a dangerous spot. Iron City is here with the other follow-up for the 50. Not totally dealt with yet, but Iron City is going to have a little bit of a miscue and they Funyan Ring's got to deal with this. Someone. Iron City's there. Good recovery. He was just going to put this up, try to see what they could do. 30 seconds left for the Panthers. Could they try to force an overtime here? Got to play a little more aggressive. Nothing to lose now. Thunder Ring is going to try to control this. Gets it over two. He was there. Third man defense coming in. 15 seconds on the clock. Iron City is going to be forced a lot closer to save than he wanted. Xventure just trying to shoot that. Funyan is up. He's going to fake. Iron City just bounces off the wall, wanted to roll up. Unfortunate there. Expenture is going to be left a little mispositioned for the bounce. Hard to predict there. He's going to keep it up. Demo's going to come in, and it looks like that ball is going to drop. And we have a 1 1 series. Honestly, in that game, I saw Florida Tech hesitating a lot. Um, I saw definitely more uh, combination plays from Northeastern as well. Just like I was talking about, they did come back. There was a lot of bumps. Um, I saw a couple of demos. Um, and I definitely think uh, Florida Tech maybe took that momentum from last game. You know, thought this game was going to be easier or something. Uh, maybe misjudged the situation. Um, honestly, in, in these games, best of seven, it is you could, you could give the other team one. You know what I mean? Um, so I definitely think, uh, Florida Tech right now is taking maybe a mental reset or game has to take a mental reset game or something. Um, 
because right now Northeastern has the advantage, has the momentum. Um, but we'll see what happens. Could you look at this as a best of five now, now that the first two games are even? Or do you think that this momentum is going to carry Northeastern into potentially another win here? Um, the thing about it, we don't know if Northeastern um, had any practice games before this. Me personally, I know Florida Tech um, scrim right before these games. So I don't know how much momentum um, Northeastern had before this. Uh, we, that's just something that's unknown. If they, if if both teams came out the gate with this game, I would say it. it, it you could count it as a best of five, but we don't know how much how much they played before. It's we don't know how much they practice. See how Florida Tech deal with the demos here. Very aggressive offense last time from Northeastern. Both teams going for the cheats again, committing two men up to that kickoff. Very important. Could get really early goals like that. Very popular in high level. RLCS happening, you see everywhere. A few hits over the net here of the Panthers. Trying to deal with this, get this out. Two men on that ball. Someone has boost, they can come flying in. Funyun is there. Swillow just going right back to the back of goal, ready for this defense. Adventure's gonna go back. Iron City's gonna see what he can do here. No boost on that side. Funyun is gonna get beat up in the air. He's gotta get back here. Adventure's turning and facing. Is gonna get beat by Swillow here. And so he's going to try to take this in the wall, but it's going to fall in 2-9's favor. He's going to get flipped off the wall to get to that ball. Venture. He's going to try to see what he can do in the middle. Swillow was ready for that. And so he's going to pop this up into a dangerous spot. He reads it. Deals with that play. Double commit from Florida Tech. Got to be careful there. Iron City is all alone in the back for now, but does get a good clear. Buy some time. He's going to fall to Swillow. Funyun Ring is going to Beat 2-9 to that. Could have been dangerous if he missed that, but he was there. Stayed composed. Almost an own goal. Is it going to go in? It is an own goal. Really unlucky angle there. Just tries to lay this in his corner, get control of it. But Swillow, he would, in net, is just not going to be able to read that. Swillow's going to get a really unlucky hit. And now the score favors Florida Tech. You can see the two cheats come in. Swillow's going to try something. Pop it up. Put some pressure up early. Florida Tech have to respond here. X with the clear. 2-9 with a nice touch. And he wins the 50 again. No demos that time. Swillow. Flying up. Now he's going to try. He does get one. Does get the bump on Iron City 2. Bunny Ring is there to deal with it though. They got to be careful here. Shot's going to come in. X is on backwards for that. He deals with it. Swillow's going to try to get a shot flying in. X is also here again. In the right spot. Bunyan Ring popping it up high. Buy some time. Alleviate that pressure. He's going to try to get the boost. Goes for the ball there. Another demo coming in. Watch for the demo again on the defense. Maybe a bump, but Iron City is out. Quick for that. Could he see Adventure mid? We know that they can link up. Adventure's going to try to see them. Two on the backboard. A pinch. You wonder if that didn't hit the ceiling where that would have ended up. Iron City Kid is going to try to find X tier. Kiwi is going to deal with that. Does go over Funyun Ring's head. He's got to be careful. Pops it up high. Shot is going to come in. Off the backboard. Iron City is there to deal with it. Puts it into his corner. Low boost here, though, from Florida Tech. And X is going to have to commit. Funyun Ring is going to have to do something here. Iron City with a huge save. Readjusting his car. Got to get that boost. He does. Spencer. Going across. Funyun Ring with a big save. Big clear. 2-9 is going to hit it back. He is ready with boost. Does grab the 100 again. He's going to put it up here. Got to be careful though. He's going down. Iron City was there. Funyun Ring goes in for that 50. Got to have some communication here. There it is. X says, I'm going to get this. Playing some mind games. Ball is going to pinch awkwardly though. And it is going to end up in the back of the Panthers net. Not really sure what happened on the defense here. If there was a bump. Just a stepping out a little bit was not expecting that shot to be as fast and high as it was we have a fresh game once again very close between the two teams here comes the double cheat again kick off trying to see x down northeastern very quick out to these 50s when he's just gonna go just a little bit above that ball finisher's gonna try to find something mid gotta be careful though Swilo has shot. 
It's going to drop to Funyun. There's another demo you see in Northeastern. Very aggressive on those demos. It's going to fall here. Iron City is going to try to just boom it away. 2 9 ready for that. Rotation here by Northeastern. You can see them. They're trying to get the boosts. They're trying to be ready for those balls to drop in the mid. Trying to win those. Trying to make defenders commit. Iron City here doing his best to clear this out. Thunder Ring is going to step up to it. It's going to beat one. Buy some more time. 2 is going to let that come back to him. He's got a lot of time. Thunder Ring is going to actually rush through that. It's going to pressure him. Ball is going to fall back to Iron City. Got to be careful here. X is going to be quick to that. Had to be. There was a man coming in for the shot. Thunder going to try to tap this down. Adventure is going to boom this against the wall. Uh, Iron City Kill is going to win this. He's going to Try the shot. Onion Ring. Alone on the defense here. He's got to be careful. Deals with it. Gets the boost too. Gets a nice 50. 2-9. Too, too fast for him. He's going to just try to see his team mid, but looks like they had more defensive-minded options. Spencer going to try to see a double tap, and that is another demo. Don't be surprised if you see an executioner at the end of this match. From the Northeastern team, there it is again. They are bringing it back. Got to be careful going across the face of goal here. Got to put it a little high. The bump comes in. Tasted their own medicine. Can they capitalize? Two in the defense. Going to get cleared away to the other side. Is X going to try something special here? It is still up in the air. They're going to go into overtime. Going to let that drop. Let's see the kickoff. Both cheats come in. Double on that side. Got to communicate. X does. Fun. Iron City is on the other side. Goes for the loop reset. Could he get the dunk? So unlucky there to not get that. The net was just a little bit bigger. That would have favored him in that top left. So close. Good dunk, but not rewarded for the fruits of his labor. Got to be careful there. Funyun Ring. People coming, flying in with those shots. All with the gold mine. Funyun Ring is going to get bumped here. Got to be careful. Bounces off Adventure. Not totally dealt with in this corner. Very dangerous. A lot of committing, a lot of challenges flying in, a lot of shots. Just trying to get some control. Big pinch from 2-9. It's going to go high over Iwi. It's there. Double commit on the defense, but it does get dealt with. Buy some more time. The boost is taken in control. Northeastern 2-9. Not going to get the exact hit up field that he was looking for, but that is fortunately fall to his teammate. Going to go for the flip reset here. Does not get it as high as he wanted to. Funyu Ring is going to get the boost control here. 2-9 commits. A little too high. Funyu Ring, could he get one flick over? Squillo's going to deal with it in the defense. He has to. Funyun, good boost control there to read that play. Get the boost from the opposing side. 2-9's going to win the 50 here. That Fennec just coming in with that control on those 50s. Does get the boost as well. Going to try to look for a bump going down. Does not get it. All up high towards Northeastern net. Got to deal with it. Iron City goes high on the 50. No boost. Another 50 by Funyun Ring. Sventure... He's going to come in. He's going to drop down. Funyun Ring with a shot. Iwi deals with it. Nice save. Good reactions. Squillo is going to get that back right boost. Flies up high, but... Adventure is going to try to shoot this towards net. Squillo has the control. Funyun Ring is going to be up early for it. Just trying to keep that in the orange half. Adventure. Awkward hit. Ball is coming in fast. Low boost. 2-9 is going to go up for the shot. Adventure. Important save right there. Bunyan Ring, got to be careful. Low boost, a little bit far away from that ball, more than he wanted to be. Does get dealt with. He's going to go up here. Just round pitches, hits it just a second late. That would have been it. Super unlucky to get that. Adventure is going to come in here. Two nine's going to put it in the corner. I think Funyun beat him to that boost. Two nine trying to play some mind games. 50 it through with that big hitbox on the Fennec. Iron City's going to go on the wall. Save some boost. Control in the corner by Swillow. I believe that was. It's going to drop down. The demo's going to come in. 2 is going to try to capitalize on this. Double demo. The bump comes in, though. On their own teammate. Iron City's going to go up on the wall for this. The boost is down there. Someone going to try to get their adventure. Leaves it. Swillow's going to have control. That 100 in the corner. 2 is going to come over with it. Swillow is up. Iron City deals with it. Xventure here on a 1v1. It's faked. He went great mind games there. Credit to him. Funyun Ring. Trying to get a catch. 
A little awkward. Maybe looking for some help. 2-9 stays composed on the ground. Some more mind games. Demo in the back, but a return demo. Shot coming in. Iron City is there. 2-9 is going to make two commit, I believe. No, we just had one. It's going to try to put this over the face of the goal. Long overtime here. Three minutes and 30 seconds. Really a back and forth fight here. The ball is going to drop to Swilo. Pinch in the corner by Funyun. Even it's going to try to read this. 2-9 is up. Gets it over one. No shots coming in. Waiting patiently. Bumps by Iron City. Trying to mess them up a little bit. Good 50 by Xventure. Just a little hard, a little fast for Funyun Reed. Funyun to read there in the mid. 2-9 is going to be faster than both of them in that instance. Could this be turned into a goal? Not really. 2-9 misses in. Can we convert in the middle? Just bouncing really fast. Really unpredictable play here. Fast pace. Both teams are getting the boost control. That ball is flying in. Really hard to predict. Another demo. Oh, probably up to du double digits by now for Northeastern. Playing a huge role in their game. 2-9 needed to be there, and he was. Gets the save there. 2-9 tries to 50 down to X. Iron City comes flying in. Maybe it's going to try to get the 50. Puts it to his half. Adventure going to see what he can do. Pop it up real high. Ewiot's here. Gonna put it down. In his corner. Swillow's ready. The bump from the teammates comes in, though. Funny Ring can maybe push this up. Adventure here to try to capitalize. The misses does come in. Ewiot's gonna push it away, though. Swillow with another unlucky touch there with the Octane. A miss from 2 9 will be fatal. And Iron City will be there to put it away in a long overtime. Back and forth play, unfortunate miss there, and Iron City, right place, right time, puts it away. 2-1 advantage in the series for the Panthers. Tony, that was a long game. What do we think is going to play onto their mental going into the next game? Oh, most definitely. Uh, long long games like that uh, really control the mental from, from the other team that loses. If, what was it, like a 5-minute and 40-second overtime? I uh, you can only... Push what, 5 minutes something? There, yeah. Yeah. Um, all I'm saying is if you if you dedicated five minutes, six minutes into a game and it wasn't it, into an overtime and all you needed was one score and you lost it, I can only imagine what they're going through right now. Um, definitely Northeastern has to take a mental over, uh, reset while Florida Tech needs to push this momentum as hard as they can because it, it, the, the game is in Florida Tech's favor. This next game is completely in Florida Tech's favor. Um... Northeastern right now, I mean, I, even if they, like, get another, uh, another game in, that, that game we just saw pretty much controls the, the whole series. Can I ask you what you think of all these demos on the Northeastern side? I mentioned it earlier. I'm surprised that I didn't see any happening. And last game, I think there could have been an executioner in place. What do you think about that? Um, I, I actually do love the demos that's coming out of Northeastern. I don't really get to see demos that much, but I feel like demos are so broken because it basically gets a person out of the, uh, off of the court for, I don't know how, how long it is, like four seconds. Um, and I feel like that just makes it a two, uh, a two V three. Um, I'd say it's up there with bumps, but actually I like demo, de uh, demos more. Um, so I'm kind of I'm kind of glad Northeastern kind of went for that route. Obviously, it didn't work for them, but uh, Florida Tech also did start the demo. Once they started the demo, I did catch that. So seems like matching the play here proved very successful for them. Will they stick to their game? Will we see more demos? It's the bump, accidental bump, I think, coming in early from school, I believe, on Iron City is going to get cleared here. Interesting to see how this game will go after a long, excruciating game last time. A lot of demos. Got to be composed with those. They could really tilt players. But Florida Tech kept their composure and they got the win last game. Coming in here, just some back and forth in the midfield. Nothing too threatening just yet. But Xventure might look to change that just a little forward in front of that ball. Tonight's going to hit this up. Does beat Funyun. Iron City says, no sir. Funyun may be a cherry pick. Almost. Adventure's gonna hit this. 
Try to get it to bounce straight down. Iron City with a shot in the mid. It's gonna roll across. 2-9's gonna have a little bit of time here. Not gonna go for that boost, gonna leave it for his teammate. Works Venture. It's not there anymore. Venture's gonna get a dangerous hit up in the mid. Funyan could do something with this. Has no boost now, gotta be careful with that. Getting back, Iron City wants to keep this in their half though. Venture coming in, Swillow. Funyan with a big save there. Iron City's gonna clear this out. Needed to get that save, that flick, almost around him. Funyan does have boost control. Gotta be careful. No double commit here from Florida Tech. Slow gets a bounce. Exventure being really aggressive on those blocks and those 50s, trying to keep the ball in their half. He's gonna go under Funyan. Still is gonna try to hit this down, but Funyan is gonna try to deal with this. 2 9 is there. Very narrow play again from Northeastern. Really close to each other, but proving to work in these pockets of space when. Florida Tech doesn't get the exact 50 they want, and there's another man on the opposing side to follow up right away. Maybe it's going to go up with this. It's going to try to get under it. Goes for a dunk instead. 2-9. It's going to be Iron City there. But no third man for the shot. So he's going to try to push this in. Got to be careful there. It does get dealt with. A little bump. Communi miscommunication here from X Funyan. Got to stay composed on that defense. Got to be careful. Nice little pinch. Does get the boost, too. Away from Ewiat, but it's going to get put back in this corner. Been here for a while. Shot is going to come in, but it's not going to connect from 2-9. You have a little bit of a counter going on, potentially. But good defense from Ewiat. Paul's going to come over. 2-9. It's going to get to that boost. below. Funyun, potentially a shot. Goes for it. Dealt with. Iron City puts it across. Top middle. Gets cleared. Xventure. Get as high as he wanted. There's a demo. X is out of the play for now. And his boost does get stolen. 2 going to hit it down. Iron City going to try to find someone in the mid. In the blue corner. Iron City and Funyun looking defensive-mindedly here. Both teams maybe just running the clock. See if we can get a lower goal towards the time. And Funyun's going to beat one. Adventure's going to try to come in, but good defense from Northeastern. But he does get the boost control here. Iron City just not the mechanics he wanted there. It's Willow commits for the boost, but Funyun is up here. No boost now. 2-9 is going to have that 100 in that corner. They're playing around. Iron City's going to try to keep it in this corner. Could he get another 50 coming in? Awkward positioning, but Ewiat's there to deal with it. Off Spillow's back. And interesting pinch here. Iron City does get beat to his own boost there. Funyun Ring's got to be careful. Quick reaction. Spillow's going to hit this. It's going to fly mid 2-9. Just not enough boost, and Ewiat's not going to be able to read that. He's going to try to take it into the corner. Could not get the shot away. Iron City going to hit it against the ceiling. Let's get the mid boost. Funyun Ring does get beat. Communication waiting for Iron City to come out. It's just going to take this in the wall. They chase this a little bit. 2-9 is up and high, ready for that. Deals with it. Tries to get a double. Does fall back, but Funyun Ring is fast and there to read the play. Last 10 seconds. Could we see a late goal here? Florida Tech actually is playing back just a little bit. It's going to bounce off the backboard. We're going to see another overtime here. Who knows? It might be as long as the last one. Two very close teams here in terms of skill. And how their play is kind of working out with each other here. Interesting. Like a chess match. These two teams are going back and forth. Trying to find that, that last breakthrough goal. They get the boost control. Iron City with a save there. Could have gone really bad the way the front of his car was facing net. Funyun is going to miss it, but it's going to get pushed out here by Iron. X is waiting in the mid. 2 is going to try to take it across his net. Fennec is very big on those aerial 50s. Venture is going to try to put pressure on it. Shot's going to bounce in front of net. Goes wide. Venture. Puts it up. Three men committing here. Oh, the bump. And what a save by Swillow. 
Iron City does have an open shot here. Gonna go up. Double commit again on the defense. Can Florida Tech put it away? Another save. Incredible last ditch efforts here on the goal line by Northeastern. Iron City wants to keep this in. They were trying to get the boost control. I believe they had it for a little bit. But Northeastern looking to respond and get back into the motion here. Wonder Ring's gonna go up. Does get it around one. But you get fast out to this from the Northeastern defense. Very close opportunity there. Four from Florida Tech. Two nine is gonna miss this. Xventure smacks it. Does it cross for Funyan Ring? Comes in with the shot. One nothing. It is a three one series now for Florida Tech. Very, very important goal here. Funny ring, right place, right time, right read to play. They were bound to learn after that last attack, getting so unlucky. Credit though to the Northeastern defense. And we are one game away from a massive win in the final. Tony, what are your thoughts? So that definitely went out uh, different than I expected it did. Um, we do have two very close teams when it ter uh, in terms of skill level. Um, Florida Tech was able to bring it out at the end, but it, not really so much of that momentum that I was talking about. Um, I guess Northeastern was able to mental reset, get out of their own heads, and not necessarily think about the game that they just had previously. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I, there was a lot of a lot of bumps. I saw a couple of demos, not as much as like the the game before, but um. Yeah, it's still anyone's game. Even though Florida Tech is in the lead, it can happen. Uh, Northeastern is able to come back. There's a lot of game left. Really like to highlight here the, this this play. It seems like Florida Tech have Funyun Ring or Iron City Killer play back really high or play back a little far against this team because they're really quick out to those passes in the mid to stop that. And I see why they're doing that. But I wonder on these plays if maybe they just had a little bit more depth and they had one man push up just a little bit higher and closer to that goal net that maybe we'd see more conversions on those passes into the mid. They could win those 50s faster. We do also have to state getting... that Florida Tech is the one that's on their feet now. They're the ones that have to get get this last game. They're the ones that's stressing. Northeastern, if they can of... get a couple more games, then it's in their hands. That is true. Northeastern don't have a lot to lose here. Only have stuff to gain in contradiction to that Florida Tech really want to just end this quick and maybe get this game away get this over with demos are going to be much wilder I would predict in this game compared to how we've seen them maybe even more crazy than game three there you can already see two demos happening in span of a few seconds here so it is going to beat Iron City to that ball Funyun Ring with 50 on the wall 2-9, backing up, gonna have some time, tries to control it. Xventure's gonna read that, the shot is gonna get away. Ewo is just getting back to that defense. It's gonna fly up, Iron City. There's the demo, another one already. Funyun trying to keep this control in the corner. See, Xventure playing up higher now. And a little more aggressive. Can he win that 50? He does. Is Iron City gonna be there? Just hits the post, unlucky there. He was quick. A little miscommunication and a double commit on the part almost. From Florida Tech. Venture was there though. Maybe it's gonna get a shot, but Xventure is gonna be there quick. Reads it out. Spillow puts it up. He was gonna try a redirect. Tries to get fancy with it. Gotta be careful. 2 9 in with the shot. Which in the mid waiting. Swillow comes in. Ball's gonna pinch Funden Ring. Tries to get a 50 here. Flipping this car. Is gonna get beat. Dangerous spot here, 2-9. Reading that, but what a save from Xventure, I believe that was, coming in, preventing that shot from getting away. It's gonna be quick to this. Iron City is there, actually. It's gonna float in that corner again. It's a with a nice touch. Confused Funyun just a little bit there, but he's gonna go back. He's gonna reset for 50. He tries it, Ewit stays low, gets that. Does get the boost too in the corner. Could benefit a northeastern attack. But Funyun Ring is going to try to deal with it. 2 9, super quick to try to convert these passes mid off those corners. But 
Florida Tech defense is going to be solid here. Coming in, Spencer going to go up high. 2-9 on the backboard. Onion's going to hit it mid. Tries Expenture's going to be back here to deal with that. A little bit closer than we originally thought. When your ring clears that off the wall. He's going to drop to him again. He's going to run forward with it. Maybe another 50. Tries. He is a little high up. Got to be careful getting back here. Iron City is going to help him deal with that. 2 is going to get a little bit of a miss hit here. Does a shot come in? Funyan does get there, but Swillow went a little low. Wins that. Funyan did not get the power that he originally wanted on that to get out. Expenture is going to take this in the corner. Ball does get away from him a little bit, but it does favor him. 2-9 put in a little bit of an awkward position, and Iron City is up. Slams it down with the demo on Expenture. Confusion there in the net, but he waits there to deal with it. Iron City stopping that flying in run from Ewit. We've seen that happen a few times this game. Interesting play there. Ring's going to hit it out. But fortunately, they are back getting boost resetting. Another defensive game so far for Florida Tech, but a shot's going to come in. Is going to get dealt with by Funyun Ring. Spencer's going to bang it up. Is beat. 2 9 is beat again over his head. Iron City going to try to look for something mid. Funyun coming in. Places a shot just a little bit. Not the exact hit he was looking for. Spencer's going to keep this in the orange half, though. Funyun Ring with another 50 and a big one at that. 1 0. Huge read of the play by Funyun Ring here. 50 comes in. He sees Swillow taking his time. Just a little bit of a heavy touch by Swillow there. And Funyun Ring is going to capitalize on that. A massive goal here in what could be the final game. Both teams maybe just trying to recollect for the last 50 seconds here. Less than a minute. It is a one goal game still, but Florida Tech can be a little bit more comfortable. 2-9 does get bumped. Expenture's going to come flying in. Massive free jump. Loses the boost though now. Funyun Ring reading the play again. Another 50. He is reading these in the late stages here of this final game. Potentially here. Let's Northeastern have a response. Ball's going to go up. Off the corner. 20 seconds left. Got to make something here. Funyun Ring with a big pass into the middle. And Iron City Killer is there. 2-0. With every second passing by. It is looking more and more likely that this is your NACE JV champions. Undefeated, the by the way. Undefeated. This will be 10 and 0. Oh, a massive record. Swillow here. Can he make some magic? Iron City's going to save it, though. 10 seconds left on the clock. 2 is going to fly in here. Desperate from Northeastern. Funyun Ring with a big clear. And it looks like this will be it. And that's with the what last shot, Ibit's going to deal with it. But that is it. Ladies and, and gentlemen, congratulations to Florida Tech. 4-1. You are looking at your NACE JV champions. 10-0 record. What a season in this tournament for this team. Tony, we've seen this team from even last semester. What they originally started out as. What can you say now that they've reached this, this record, this this notable feat here? What are your thoughts on comparing that and what we originally saw from this team back oh, in they, the likes they've of They've definitely gotten better. Um, I have seen almost every game. I've seen um, progressively uh, more and more uh, increase in skill level. Um, there's definitely more ball control. There's more ball handling. Um, I do see, oh, way more teamwork. Their, their teamwork is, is improved dramatically. Um yeah, then them being undefeated shows how much they uh they really wanted this win, this uh this series, and uh I think they deserve it. I think deserve is an understatement for how this team has performed. They have evolved from something that seemed like a, a miscommunication mess that they seemed to have when I originally spotted this team, but after been following them. It, it's like looking at three different players in the field now. Some of the same personalities, but technically and mechanically, massive improvements. The communication, the rotation is there. All credit to their coach. I mean, it is just amazing to see the evolution of this team. These three have worked so hard, and they just deserve this. Like I said, it's it's still an understatement to use that word, but incredible play, incredible game here. And credit to Northeastern, too. 
tried to bring out some tactics, but in the end, Florida Tech were just too heavy for them. Okay, guys. Um, our next game is going to be Varsity Valorant at 9.30. Uh, I, hope, I will be there, but uh, we will have two casters. I don't know which one. I don't know which ones they are, um, which casters are going to be there. But uh, I hope to see you there. Oh, the game is Varsity Valorant against Georgia Institute of Technology. Oh, we've played them before, I believe. Um, but I hope to see you guys there. And I hope everybody has a nice night. And uh, see ya. See you all later.